and then we're just going to walk off. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. We cannot just uh, grab grab the dagger and then disappear because it looks like that weird blood monster is still in there. That's interesting. When the light is turned off, actually, with the gun goes way down. When Harry has the light, oh, didn't read that. Anyway, we have what we need. The chain is still missing a link. So, what could we possibly use? Uh, we've got four of the items. We can use the ring of contract to seal the door. And it kind of looks like the weird blood sucking tentacle thing. Yeah, you can stay mad in there, bro. Okay, cool. So, now we have nearly nearly everything we need. Um, I wish, to be honest with you. So we can't go through that door yet. It's locked, right. Let's check these other rooms. Yeah, we've already been in that. So I think we need to check the rooms opposite. Aha! Here we go. Another room. Just trying to remember, like, where we've been and where we haven't been. That's the problem. Okay. Get the handgun bullets. Even though, like, at this point, the handgun is beyond obsolete. Like, we're never touching that thing ever again. But wait. Nothing helpful. Oh, I beg to differ, James. We have jelly beans. Do you want to open the bag? Sure. Let's open the jelly beans. <laughs> and Harry, like a complete tit, just spills them everywhere. That's fine. But luckily, there is the the uh, what's that? The Bethor key of Bethor or Bethor that we need just over yonder. Now, is there anything in here? Ah, now this is an interesting um, room. So, you remember the VCR tape that we had previously in the game, and it was all scrambled. Now, if we watch it here again, in this kind of optional area, we can actually watch it complete without any artifacts or any fuzziness. Change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. Oh, please. Hmm. So that was definitely Lisa. So Lisa was involved, obviously, with keeping Alyssa alive after, well, something happened. Anyway, no time to worry about that right now. We need to keep exploring. So we now have the key that we need. Yeah, we still can't go through there yet, but we can go through here. So let's go through. And that's going to lend us, end us up in the generator room. So let's switch that sucker off. Now, problem is, if we turn the generator off, we lose access um, of the elevator, which sucks. So if we didn't unlock that door earlier, which uh, allows us to teleport to the floor above or below, depending, yeah, you can really kind of mess yourself up here. So now, using the power of teleportation. Oh, hello, guys. We can get upstairs without the elevator. Uh, 
Now, there is reports that if you haven't unlocked that door and you haven't tried that particular door, apparently you can just turn the elevator off and then unlock it after the fact. However, I've also heard reports that sometimes that bugs the game out and you can no longer unlock that door. I've never been in that situation, so I can't say. However, I could see how that would be immensely frustrating. Anywho, we can now grab the key, which will allow us access to the final area. Okay, so interesting, actually. Um, I did used to think that this area was like a, a confusing maze, but it's kind of not that bad once you've been through it a few times, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of not that bad at all, to be honest. Right, trouble is we need to go through here, I think. Yeah, cool. So we've been through that door. Now, just need to go through this one, which is the final door. Everything is going according to plan. Shelter. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the sea lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. Promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Hmm. So, that's the girl that they had down here that was kept, I guess, the hospital's dirty little secret. The Disc of Ouroboros, and I've noticed that we've been recording for nearly 40 minutes here, so I think I'm just going to finish this off as one piece and then cut this video in half or something. Alessa. So there's that girl that we've been following around, or at least has been kind of following us around, either or. Alyssa. Well, she looks a lot older than our Cheryl, doesn't she? Hmm. So they were keeping her alive, and it sounded like they weaved some kind of magic on her to get her pregnant with something. Seems strange. But apparently the soul was too weak. Due to all the injuries she had, I guess. Interesting. Okay. So, with everything that we have now, we can finally get out of here. We can go back down. Um, and now I need to remember how to get back down to the basement. Um, so, we've come out here. That's led us there. We can't use the elevator because we're out of power now. Um, 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 um. Oh, I bloody hate this place, honestly. Right, we've been through there. We've cut the power. Now we just need to get to the first... No, we don't. We need to get to the basement. I mean, potentially now... We could turn the power back on, I think. Um, 
Right. I'm being stupid, aren't I? Yeah, it's literally this door across. I am a fool overthinking. Cool, now we have everything we need to push ahead. So, we've got the Amulet of Solomon. The amulet is a star-shaped object with six corners named after the ancient magician. Okay. And then, we have the Crest of Mercury. Snake in the symbol of the Mercury, uh, in the symbol of Mercury signifies alchemy. Okay. Next up, we have the ellip elliptical talisman with a cross inside. Stick that in. Next, we have the dagger of Melaquire. Melico the ancient dagger named after the Meiji. Or the Meiji. And then, last but not least, the disc of Ouroboros. Ouroboros, Chris. Ring of a snake biting its own tail. And now we can go through. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the Mother's womb, containing the power to create life. Could have done it all myself. Mommy? Hmm. Yeah, so Dahlia was definitely doing something a little bit bizarre with uh, her daughter. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's continue down, deeper and down. been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped, this little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Cheryl, what have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. No mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has 
been kept alive. Suffering a fate worse than death. I have suffered this heart in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. You have been watching my every word, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return. Yeah, that's pretty bad news. Hmm, so that's some kind of demon repellent that Kaufman has come up with. And it looks like this cult was using Alyssa as a magical vessel to birth their god. All this time, huh. What have you done, Kaufman? Well, that is one ugly motherfucker. I don't know what kind of god that is, but it's nothing good. more like the devil to be honest <laughs> yeah this is bad so essentially what's happened here is they cause um dahlia and her cult were trying to use uh, Alyssa to birth this demon thing and in doing so the magical spell actually split Alyssa's soul into two people one became cheryl and one became Alyssa. Alyssa was horribly mutated and burnt and all that good stuff and she was kept alive at the hospital under the care of Dr. Kaufman and um, Lisa for seven years and uh, her mind was decaying and she was going insane which was manifesting 
Silent Hill, but she couldn't get better or continue the birthing procedure for the demon god thing without the other half of her soul, which was Cheryl. So Dahlia casts a magic spell, which is why um, Cheryl eventually convinced Harry to take her to Silent Hill. It's a bit of a weird one, but that's the long and the short of it. Anyway, uh, this boss is kind of sucky, and I'll tell you why. Basically, if we're on anything other than full health, she's going to fire a lightning attack at us, and it basically has like a 50-50% chance of hitting. I've looked up guides. I've looked at all kinds of things. It's just, it's, it either hits you or it doesn't. There doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason to it. Now, it does a considerable amount of damage to you. In fact, it can kill you in seconds, which is bad. So every time you get hit, you want to heal up. Now, if you've got a load of health like we have, the actual best strategy is to just tank the damage and fire away. There we go. As soon as we start getting hit, we're going to heal. Now, what's interesting is as soon as you come into this um, inventory screen, if you've healed, doesn't matter how long the attack goes on for, you won't take any more damage, as is my understanding. Now, as soon as we put the gun down, it's going to auto reload. And we will just check our health. Yep, we're still on really good health. We are just going to use another thing just for the sake of it. We're going to take a nasty bit of damage there. But Okay, maybe it does still hurt you. I'm not quite sure on the science of it, but it's just easier to blast away. And hope for the best. <laughs> like so. Running around and avoiding its attacks is just a waste of time.
And that's that, guys. At least that's the first run. So, what the hell just happened? Well, after the demon god was born uh, from Alyssa's tortured soul, we successfully destroyed the demon god with gun and lots of gun and health drink, uh, which somehow destroyed the god, I guess? Question mark? And that caused the Silent Hill world to start to crumble. So using the last of her power, I guess, as she was depossessed, Alyssa um, reincarnated herself back into baby form and presented the baby to Harry. I think and Harry later on calls her Heather and that's a story for another time um, and then Sybil and Harry escape although close call so Alyssa uses the very last of her power to hold back the uh, darkness and allow them to escape now you may have seen Kaufman trying to escape as well and he may well have done it but Lisa's vengeful spirit was having none of it and grabbed him at the last minute and dragged him back to wherever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether it's Silent Hill, Hellscape or just Hell. Not really sure. There's a, there's a lot of interpretation here. <laughs> but either way, Kaufman doesn't escape. So, and that is Silent Hill good ending plus so essentially we got the best ending plus which means we saved everybody we could including Sybil um, we have got to get the extraterrestrial ending so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna record a bonus video of all of the other bonus stuff. So I'm going to have to complete this game like another three times, I think. <laughs> but I'll do that off camera and then just create one clip show, I think. With the other endings and weapons. And there is Sybil and Harry raising the new baby. And I'm pretty sure that is Alyssa reincarnated. I like these bloopers at the end as well. Really good stuff. So, it's still got a couple of mysteries, even for me after all these years, but I'm pretty sure that is the, the gist of it. Um, obviously, if you guys have any other theories or ideas, sound them off down below, because there's a lot of interpretation to be had with Silent Hill especially um, after the first game. And there's Alyssa. Because she was badly burnt. But be something to do with the fact that she, because she was a vessel, she was immortal, so even though she's awfully wounded, she couldn't die. No thanks, Dahlia. But because her soul had been split in half, uh, she was no longer strong enough to create the god. It's actually a very interesting story. It's a very unique story, I think, in the survival horror genre. Um, Harry's a cool character as well. And after... This is the second time I've played it through now. And... I've got to ask myself, do I think this game still holds up? Yes. Yeah, I really do. Um, I think it holds up wonderfully. That's kind of interesting. So, I don't understand 
what a lot of this nonsense means. Obviously, the time, walking distance, running distance, all that kind of stuff is fine. So where it says our rank there, uh, we had one, I think it's out of ten. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got a rank of eight there. Um, I think that means eight. I don't know why you've got the big stars and the little stars. Is it out of twelve? I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I know to get the top rank, it's incredibly cryptic. Now, on my first run through, before I actually recorded this, I got nine stars. But even if you get ten stars, that still means there's two stars missing. So I'm not 100% sure. There is a breakdown online on how to get a perfect uh, ten score. But it involves needing to use, like, calculations and working out which enemies to kill, which enemies to run past, which enemies to use melee combat for, which enemies to use long-range combat for. Um, and you need to work out, like, how far away you are from enemies, all whilst keeping it in under two saves, I believe, with... Um, under a set time as well. Yeah, the, the science calculations for getting a perfect 10 is kind of mental, if you ask me. And it's something that just isn't interesting to me at all. Um, now, we are going to unlock the alien blaster by getting the UFO ending. And depending on your previous rank... That uh, dictates how powerful the gun actually is. So if you get a rank 8 or better, it's pretty weak. I understand it actually does less damage than the standard handgun, apart from the fact that it has unlimited ammo. If you get a rank 9, it's about as powerful as the shotgun. Except, like I say, you have unlimited ammo with it. And I think if you get a rank 10, it actually does more damage than the hunting rifle. Except, you know, spammingly fast firing speed and unlimited ammo. So, yeah, that is Silent Hill, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to do a one-shot video next with a load of clips and a load of commentary of me talking over the top of the clips, most likely just to fill in the weapons, because obviously now we have unlocked, as we can see in the background there, we've unlocked the chainsaw, we've unlocked the drill, we've unlocked the petrol can, and we've unlocked the uh, blue stones, which we need for the extraterrestrial ending. Now, another annoying thing... <sighs> We need to use the petrol can once per playthrough to activate the weapons. So <laughs> that means that if we want the chainsaw and the rock drill, we have to complete the game another two times in a row. There's also a katana, which we can unlock in the game, which is very powerful, but you can't unlock it until you've got a good ending and a bad ending. So that brings the total completed playthroughs up to four that we still need to do. Five if you want the alien blaster. Yeah, they uh, they certainly know how to get the um, how to get your um, you know replay value, don't they? Now I don't understand the items either. It says two hundred one slash two hundred and four. I'm if I had to guess, I think that means we found a total of 201 items out of 204. I think that's what it means, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, guys, this has been over an hour long video now. So I'm going to cut this video in half. And then we're going to do one more little roundup bonus video at the end. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.